What's happening? I'm Jeff Accordo, your All-American legend. Everyone knows I like a nice, sexy electric guitar to play on stage in front of y'all. when live and on tour. And here's another one a fan sent me. I was looking for one for a while. I know what it is. I've already, you know, usually some people do the unboxing. They'll rip the box open in front of you. I wrestled this thing out of the box, but I haven't opened it up yet. So you'll see it before I do. I mean, I know what the guitar is, the model and everything, but I don't know what it looks like. I hope the headstock's not broken off. I mean, if you're like me and you've got many guitars in the past, sometimes you'll get them, the necks will be broken and stuff, and you get upset, and it's terrible. It's just terrible. But this is an Ibanez guitar. I know the model, but you're going to see it before I do. Let's open up together, won't we? So we're going to open it up here. Nice sturdy case. This one's an oldie but a goodie. It's about 27 years old. Take a peek at it, and there it is. The Ibanez PS10 LTD model guitar, and I tell you, it's a beauty. And you're probably saying, that's not chrome hardware. It's not silver. It is, and it's gold. That's why it's the LTD. It has a gold kind of speckled paint in it. It was made back in 95, and these models were amazing. They were, and what I, what I mean by that, the new PS10s that Paul came out with about five, uh, six seven years ago or trash they're, they're both made in japan this is made in japan but the new ones uh they cheaped out on the well i can tell you and the fretboard's ebony i think it's ebony and not uh, rosewood but you see the mother of pearl and abalone it it's quality the new ones have it looks like some kind of fake abalone and some new the new ps10s have some crap pearloid and which it doesn't look right you can tell the difference and it's just quality construction. The new ones, it's, I've sent two of them back because the quality was trash. When you pay so much for a guitar, you should be paying for quality. This is quality. And let me take a peek at this, make sure the necks are, uh, at the nut is not cracked. Because every time I open it up, this is what I'm worried about. Because sometimes you'll get it in a crack the, at the nut on both sides. It's because it took a beating. Somebody dropped it and just hit down. Also, I check at the joint right here now. Sometimes the joint will be cracked right here because there's a lot of pounding right in the center here and it kind of cracks it. I check right here in the binding area, make sure there's no cracks here. But overall, this is a, there's no buckle rash along the back. He said it was in amazing condition. It's, it's better than amazing. This is better than any uh, better looking any guitar you'll find at Guitar Center. And I do mean that. You know, I'm not a fan of Guitar Center and most, most guys are not. Um, I'll tell you why, why in a future episode. But overall, this thing's a beauty. I can't wait to hook it up with, to my EVH 5150 and just melt your ears on tour, just to blow you away. We're going to do that soon. Me and the boys in the band are heading out to see you soon. Well, this is my review. I haven't had a chance to hook it up yet, but I guarantee it's going to be amazing. I'll let you know. I might even do a video of the hookup. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate you taking the time to come over and see me. Bye now.